If this tastes half as good as it looks, you guys are in for a treat. It looks like a work of art. Yeah, you know, kind of like me. This week, chefs honored female Texas trailblazers with the dishes. Winning chef is Evelyn. Thank you so much. For Evelyn, her snap crudo was in honor of Selena, the Tejano music star. You know, I think this is the perfect dish to make at home because it teaches you the fundamentals of like breaking down a fish. We're going to chop it up, remix it, do its damn thing, and then uh, hopefully, you know, I do Evelyn's dish a little justice. I mean, it's all about execution, right? Like, yeah. just, you know, don't mess up. For me, the key points to this dish is really just starts about the fish. We have a beautiful, whole, Thai snapper here. When you see clear eyes on a fish, it means it hasn't been out of the water for very long. Other things that you're gonna see is that the flesh is firm, it's not soft. You need a sharp knife. If you're doing crudos and you don't have a sharp knife, cook your fish. You have one fin here. That is where your first incision is gonna go. Right? right there. Do the same thing on the other side to remove the head. Next part of this fish, there's a spine that runs in the middle with the tip of our knife. I'm gonna take it all the way down to the rib cage. Jump over that rib cage and follow that rib cage all the way down. Tail, and you have one beautiful fish fillet right there. We have two beautifully clean sides of snapper. We're gonna take some of the skin off, start at the tail. Run your knife parallel to the cutting board and wiggle the skin of the snapper. We're gonna give this the dice. It's all diced, get it into a bowl, and it goes into the fridge to stay cold. The next part of this dish, agua chile. The agua chile has to be on point. That is the point of the dish. Really easy recipe. Everything in the blender, turn it on, strain it, chill it out. In goes fish sauce. So that's a lot of fish sauce, but it's gonna help season the entire dish. And lime juice. You know, you don't wanna buzz it for too long, so you don't wanna heat this up. Extract all the liquid from this. I mean, it's this water is like beautiful. Put this over some ice and pour some vodka in here. I think I'm good to go. I just need like a funny mustache and some, some super tight jeans. Like, whoa, stay away from that, dude. Avocado mash time. Gotten a little bit of a dice in this avocado. See how beautifully it all falls out. Hit this with some salt. When juicing a citrus, give it a bit of a roll to help break up the fibers inside and then give me a good zest. Citrus is gonna stop this avocado from browning, but it's also gonna add tons of flavor. And flavor without adding acidity or sugar. Mash, 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 mash. Get it away, get it away. We will have no dish if you do not take this away from me. Last but not least, our garnishes. We need a Japanese mandolin for this. And the rule in my kitchen is when someone's using it, you never talk to them. So. You get to a point where you julienned and you have a little bit left, don't be a hero. It's not worth bopping off a piece of your thumb to save on two cents worth of batter. The last element of this dish are crispy plantains. Crispy bits, crispy bits. So of course Evelyn made hers from scratch, but a really great substitution and a little bit of a cheat is buy pre-made plantain chips. You know, you can go ahead and give them a, a chop. Crispy plantain chips are gonna give you that really crispy crunch, and they're gonna add a little bit of salt to this dish. Really nice. So let's grab everything for our snapper, crudo, two tablespoons of chives that we've minced, the other half of that Asian pear, minced shallots, minced ginger, a little bit of flaky sea salt, and a little bit of the agua chile. Let's bring it to the plate. Evelyn, you need any help? Can you follow with uh, chili oil just a little bit around here? Down goes our avocado citrus mash. The rest of the two thirds of the ring mold, we're gonna fill with this beautiful snapper crudo, crushed plantains. Don't be shy with this. These beautiful radishes. Finish with a little agua chile. Cheryl, did you like this dish? Well, I have none left. Mmm, <laughs> that is so fire. Like it's dope guac, but you have the chips on top. Super crunchy, the fiery heat from the chili oil. I think this is a moment where you need to step back and be like, yo, I did a good job. You know when something's so spicy, you gotta keep on eating it? This is that dish.